today i am going to discuss formation of complex ion or formation of complex compound first of all let us see one example of complex ion or complex compound tetramine copper to sulfate here we can put two minus it's a kind of complex compound tetramine copper two sulfate let us write the name of the compound tetramine copper two here y2 valency of copper here two or oxidation number of copper here two that is why tetramine copper two then sulfate this is the complex compound tetramine copper two sulfate two words tetramine copper 2 and sulfate or its name may be like this tetramine cupric sulfate a kind of complex compound let us see how it is formed Suppose here water in this water salt of copper copper sulfate this is a simple compound simple salt of copper when copper sulfate is dissolved in water then it ionizes to copper ion and sulfate ion copper 2 plus ion is a kind of simple ion when in this solution ammonia gas is dissolved here then ammonia molecules bond to copper ion to form this ion tetramine copper 2 ion which remains dissolved in the solution then sulfate ion here this is complex ion tetramine copper 2 ion is a kind of complex ion when this solution is crystallized on heating then we get tetramine copper 2 sulfate a kind of complex compound in this lesson we are going to learn formation of complex ion formation of tetramine copper 2 plus ion in this lesson we are going to learn how this complex ion is formed what is its structure what is ligand what is the shape of this ion these are the learning points of this lesson so let's go to the detail the complex ion is tetramine copper 2 ion let us consider electronic configuration of copper atomic number is 29 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 
here 18 electrons then 3d9 4s2 now 29 electrons here 4s0 4p0 that means 4s and 4p orbitals contain no electrons that is why 4s0 and 4p0 here oxidation number of copper is plus 2 that is copper left 2 electrons now number of electrons 27 then electronic configuration is like this 3d9 these two electrons are removed 4s0 here this is 4p0 and 4d0 it will be 4p0 this will be 4d0 so when this is copper 2 plus then its electronic configuration is like this let us consider electronic configuration of copper 2 plus ion in box method 3d orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 5 orbitals 4s orbital then 4p orbitals then 4d orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 only 3d orbitals contain 9 electrons according to hull's rule let us distribute these 9 electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 electrons are distributed we see that this copper 2 plus ion contains one unpaired electron that is why this ion this ion is paramagnetic in nature tetramine copper 2 ion is paramagnetic in nature because it contains one unpaired electron number two this is square plana in shape by experiment it is proved that tetramine copper 2 ion is paramagnetic in nature and by x-ray diffraction study it reveals that it is square plana in shape one point is obtained already that is why this ion is paramagnetic in nature this is because it contains one unpaired electron that is why it is paramagnetic in nature number two its shape is square plana not tetrahedral so if it is square plana in shape then what is its hybridization this is 3d orbitals 4s 4p 4d as this is square plana in shape it is obtained by x-ray diffraction study then what is its hybridization its hybridization is s p 2 d that is here 4 s orbital 4 p orbital 4 p orbital and 4 d orbital these four orbitals take part in hybridization and as a result four orbitals are formed its oxidation number is plus 2 
in this case we can consider that why not sp3 4s and 3p orbitals why not sp3 if it was sp3 then its shape would be tetrahedral but its shape is square planar that is why its hybridization is not sp3 rather its hybridization is sp2d then four orbitals are formed which are in square planar in shape now these four hybrid orbitals the orbitals are vacant with these vacant orbitals ammonia molecules nitrogen contains one pair of electrons lone pair of electrons nitrogen uses these lone pair electrons to form coordinate covalent bond with the hybrid orbital of copper 2 plus ion so this is coordinate covalent bond which is formed by nitrogen of ammonia another ammonia molecule forms coordinate covalent bond with another vacant orbital of copper 2 plus ion another ammonia molecule forms coordinate covalent bond another ammonia molecule forms coordinate covalent bond in this way tetramine copper 2 ion is formed here this is transition metal atom or transition metal ion this is neutral molecule which is here called ligand what is ligand the molecule containing three pair of electrons that can form coordinate covalent bond with the vacant hybrid orbital of transition metal atom or transition metal ion then this molecule is called ligand so it's a kind of metal ligand coordinate compound or coordinate ion simply coordinated metal ligand ion this coordinated metal ligand ion is known as complex ion in which ligand forms coordinate covalent bond with the vacant hybrid orbital of transition metal atom or transition metal ion in this way complex ion is formed tetramine copper 2 ion what is the definition of complex ion let us see two more examples of complex ion or complex compound ion 2 plus this is negative ion that forms coordinate covalent bond with ion 2 ion this complex ion is formed in which ligand is negative ion cyanide ion another complex compound nickel here neutral molecule carbon monoxide that forms coordinate covalent bond with transition metal atom here carbon contains one pair of electrons lone pair of electrons by which carbon monoxide forms coordinate covalent bond with transition metal atom nickel so this is complex compound this is complex ion this is complex ion its name is tetracarbonyl nickel its name is hexacyano ion 2 so 
what is the definition of complex ion or complex compound let us see the definition complex ion complex compound another complex ion definition is the ion or the compound in which ligand forms coordinate covalent bond with the vacant hybrid orbital of transition metal ion or transition metal atom then this coordinated metal ligand ion or coordinated metal ligand compound is called complex ion or complex compound here ammonia carbon monoxide cyanide ion acts as ligand monodentid ligand in the next classes we will learn what are monodentid and didentid ligands and in the next lessons we will learn formation of tetracarbonyl nickel formation of hexacyano ion 2 ion this is all about formation of complex ion and today's ion is tetramine copper 2 ion at the same time we learned ligand definition of complex ion or definition of complex compound this is all about tetramine copper 2 ion a kind of complex ion number today thank you very much